Captain on the bridge. Alright, Captains, we are back on the bridge, and today we got some tweets to go over coming from the Star Trek Online official Twitter feed. So, on screen. Here we go. As we said, we knew that there was going to be another blog coming out for the console release of the upcoming Stormfall content. So, what we're going to do is go over two tweets since we're here already. Drop my two ECs and then give my conclusion. So, here we go. Captains, boost a 2409 Starfleet captain to level 65 instantly and gain access to the legendary Vesta. Yes! I, I say yes because, Captains, you know I really, do, I really do love the Vesta. I actually have it on PC, but we'll, we'll talk about that more later. With the legendary 2409 Starfleet captain's bundle coming out next week on Xbox and PlayStation. So... Just like how it happened on PC, Stormfall released first, and then the legendary Vesta followed up. But here we go. Here's the blog. Let's go over it here. The legendary Starfleet Captain's Bundle. So again, this is coming to console. So here we go. Have you had an opportunity yet to try out the Star Trek Online's newly revamped tutorial experience for 2409 Federation characters? Well, no, because it's not on console yet. If not, now may be the best time to do so. Why now, you might ask? Because for the first time, we will soon be offering an opportunity to jumpstart the career of just such a cadet. Thanks to the introduction of the legendary Federation 2409 Captain Bundle. By attaining this bundle, you can now instantly raise the level of any single 2409 era Federation character on your account to level 65. So Captains, that's just your regular... Federation, not the Discovery, not the AOY, not anything like that. It's just a regular Federation character when you're creating a character. This valuable bundle includes all of the following features. Immediately boost one 2409 Era Federation character to level 65. Equipment, services, and other resources sufficient to allow this newly boosted character to be ready to enter the high-end level content of Star Trek Online. I said this is before, I'll say it again, that's cute. Account-wide access to the legendary Kalian Intel Multi-Mission Explorer. Try saying that three times fast, I'm not. I already have trouble with English, I swear. The next evolution of the beloved Vesta-class line of starships. This immense bundle will be available on Xbox and PlayStation starting on June 30. So that's next week, my caps, my console caps. For the base price of 12,000 Zen. For a limited time, enjoy a special introductory offer of 50% off available from June 30th to July 14th. So that, of course, is can only be 6 a Zen. Keep reading for complete details of what to expect from this value-packed opportunity. Advance immediately to max level. Appearing as a part of this bundle is a max level boost, which you can use to immediately set a character to max level. This powerful boost is yours to use as you see fit provided a few restrictions are met. The characters to be boosted must belong to the 2409 Era Federation faction. Again, just your regular fed. The intended character must have completed or skipped the tutorial. You must have at least one character on your account that has reached level 65. Provided these restrictions are met, the process is as simple as claiming the special item unlocked by your purchase of the bundle and applying it to the character of your choosing. That is important, Cap, so just keep that in mind. This will immediately elevate the captain to the rank of Fleet Admiral and place an equipment bundle into their inventory. This level up process is designed to be usable for characters of any level. Have an old Federation alt at, that you rarely play, languishing at level 30-ish. Give them a new lease on life with immediate boost to max level and all the resources needed to hit the ground running. Looking to check out the revamped Federation starting experience? This boost opens up the door to playing the entirety of the Federation story arc without worrying of leveling up and re-gearing between episodes. If it's been some time since your last playthrough, there have been a lot of changes to what the new Captain experiences out there among the stars. It's worth taking another look. 100% Captains. We've already done the playthrough of the new revamped Federation tutorial on the PC bridge, and it's it's really good. So 
So highly, highly recommend it. Even if you're just going to create the character, go through the tutorial, and you can delete it. No harm in that. Unlike the Gemhead R experience of starting the game at level 60, players using the boost will still have the opportunity to assign their character skill points, specialization points, and traits, as well as equipping the provided gear in whatever manner they like. The choices are yours to explore. Ready for the frontier? After being boosted to Fleet Admiral, your newly elevated captain will find themselves in possession of an equipment pack begging to be opened. This bundle within a bundle represents an incredible value of high quality gear and other resources. Ready to put you on the path to immediately enjoying what life at max level has to offer. 100% paperwork. I, <laughs> sorry. That's my endgame captains. <laughs> this pack contains the following. <laughs> 1 million energy credits. Q. 1 million expertise. 250,000 reputation the lithium vouchers, five specialization qualifications, one of each specialization, used to immediately train the bridge officer or officers of your choice in the specializations you desire. Five enhanced universal tech upgrades, 36 inventory slots, 12 bank slots, six bridge officer slots, and two starship slots. Federation special issue environment suit, unique to this bundle. Again, this is the one that was seen in the mission Tenebris Tur Tourniquet. Sure, can. Sure. I can English. This special suit, it's that one in the cutscene where you're floating in space and then the planet in front of you blows up. Special suit was first developed on the maiden voyages of the first Odyssey class starship and is slowly being adapted for use by Starfleet elsewhere. A full suite of very rare purple Mark 14. I don't know why they should just, again, I've said this before, why not just make it Mark 15? I, I don't understand, but. Ground equipment and space equipment includes all basic kit modules of your chosen pr profession and many different options for outfitting your ship and crew. All ground weaponry uses the brand new weapon visuals not currently available anywhere else in the game. These special issue phaser weapons resemble those previously only obtainable through advanced fleet holdings, but with a unique twist on that look. So six very rare purple celebrity hologram bridge officers, two of each profession. Woo! -hoo! Fill your senior staff with the best the Starfleet has to offer in the twenty in the year twenty four oh nine. Now appearing in photonic form. So of course, Catherine Janeway, Julian Bashir, Harry Kim, Nog, Tom, Tom Paris, and Tuvok. Woo! -hoo! Each of these special officers has the following attributes: pre-promoted to commander rank, fully trained in all basic bridge officer abilities. Pre-equipped with the purple Mark 14 ground equipment, including special issue phaser weapons. All, okay, captains, all items received from this bundle are bind to character on pickup and have no energy credit value if discarded. So captains, keep in mind, again, put this bundle, and I'll show you where to get it, put this bundle on the captain you want. This is not account unlock. Only the ship, the Kalian Vesta, is the only one available across your account so keep that in mind so this time when we covered this the first time they did not have a picture of these phasers we actually had to add that on the thumbnail but here they are they've included it now they look pretty cool not gonna lie i haven't used them yet but it's there for you you're gonna have it if you decide to get this of course there's the legendary killing intel multi-mission explorer captains you know we've already done a video build filthy build casual on it and it's it's a great ship i you know captains it didn't matter first time we saw this when we covered it in that trailer from mission chicago we wanted it we didn't really care what it had and i'm not disappointed in all honesty i'll be 100 percent honest i am not disappointed i'm not even done yet doing the build that i want to do on it for fun of course just for fun so we'll go over this quickly legendary kalian intel multi-mission explorer let your new fleet admiral explore the galaxy in style in a never before released legendary starship well it's been released on pc just saying and unlock access to this incredible starship for all characters on your account the vesta class line of ships has already proven itself a capable and versatile vessel in many regards which caused Starfleet Intelligence to take a keen interest in further developing and specializing some its well-known functionality for dangerous and sometimes highly classified intelligence operations. I did like that little blurb, I'm not gonna lie. The result of these developments is the updated Kalian class, which can in many respects be seen as the pinnacle of its lineage. 
Like other legendary starships, this vessel is meant to represent the pinnacle of an entire line of vessels. It will include in a single starship all of the consoles, starship traits, and costumes from the entire line of both the Tier 5 and Tier 6 variants of the Vesta families of starships, including the Vesta Multi-Mission Surveillance Explorer, the Aventine Multi-Mission Reconnaissance Explorer, the Raid Maker Multi-Mission Strategic Explorer, the Brigid Multi-Mission Surveillance Explorer, the Palatine Multi-Mission Reconnaissance Explorer, and Esquiline Multi-Mission Strategic Explorer. So, Captains, this was worth it for me, doubly, doubly, because I only had the Tier 5s. I was going to get the Tier 6 with my T6 coupons, but then, of course, the Legendary started coming out, so at that point, I said, you know what, I'll just hold off just in case, and I'm glad I did. That's just me. I waited for it, and now this one ship has all these Space Barbie options with it. Super, super happy. I have probably two or three configurations that I would like to, that I have been using and one that I will be using in an upcoming fun little build that I'll be doing, which includes a torpedo pod, I'm just saying. So again, it's, you just have all this for space Barbie. Visuals for all the above ships are unlocked when the legendary starship is commissioned along with its brand new intelligence style customization options. All these options may be used interchangeably with one another to help you get the perfect look for your new flagship. Additionally, with the recent remaster of the Vesta class line of starships, new additional material and windows options were recently added. The Kalian class and all other ships within this family of starships are able to use these updated options. Purchase of this bundle will unlock the ability for all characters on your account to claim and fly this versatile science vessel. Starship stats and specifications. The legendary Kalian Intel Multi-Mission Explorer comes with the following features from previous ships within its lineage. So all these consoles are universals. Sympathetic Fermion trans Transceiver, the multi-dimensional wave function analysis module, the quantum field focus controller, the omnidirectional tachyon wave siphon, isometric dispersal ray, radiation, radiation, radiation bombardment matrix, radiation. That's what happens when I try to read ahead. Upon reaching level 5 in the Starship's energy you mastery, you will unlock the Charge Particle Reaction, Exotic Particle Shielding, and Heavy Tachyon Mine Starship Traits. These traits can be found on the previous versions of the Starship. Upon reaching level 6 in this Starship's mastery, you will unlock the Catam Reconstruction, Starship Trait for all characters on your account. One thing I love about that or these legendary ships as they have that T6 trait that just unlocks for all of your tunes of it. So here it is, Captain, just kind of quickly here. Of course, 4-2 is the weapon slot, and the bridge officer abilities, one lieutenant commander tactical, one lieutenant engineering, one engine science, one commander science slash intel, one lieutenant commander universal slash intel. So it's a full, full intel ship. And of course, consoles, 4 TAC, 2 inch, 5 psi. Of course, you can upgrade that with the T6X upgrade if you see fit. Of course, those are universal consoles. We already went over that. It has the intelligence mechanics right there. And of course, the package is the science vessel, which we know is plus exotic, plus shield hit points. That's cute. Plus healing, plus shield regen, hardness. That's cute. And then the charge particle reaction. Of course, that's the starship traits. And of course, the Count unlock is the Cadam Reconstruction Admiralty stats. Eng 22, Psi 54, Attack 41. Its special is minus 25% maintenance per Eng ship. So again, the account unlock Starship trait, Cadam Reconstruction. While this trait is slotted, activating hazard emitters or any Intel Bridge Officer ability will build up charges, which will enable automated healing while your hull is low. If you have one or more charge, one will be consumed every few seconds while below 50% max hull in order to immediately restore a percentage of your max hull. While below 50% hull, remove one charge of Cadam Reconstruction to restore 10% of maximum hull. Once per 5 seconds. Jumpstart your career as a Fleet Admiral in the Federation. So Captains, there we go. These things are fun to read because it's a challenge to myself to see how many times I'll screw up. I think that was three times. Captains, comment below to see how many times you caught me screwing up. But there we go, Captains. That is 
the Kalian chip coming to the console bridge. And yes, Intel got a revamp before, so this is even better, especially if you're chasing the deeps. But regardless, in the casual playthrough that we do, it's good enough for us and what we do there online. So this is coming again, as per this blog. It is, starts next week, June 30. There you go, Captain. So, again, we'll hop into game quickly. But before we do so, we're just going to go over the patch notes because there was also some patch notes here. Again, Captains, you know I don't normally do this, but we're here already, so why not? Star Trek Online will have maintenance on all platforms tomorrow. So, June 22nd at 6 a.m., estimated downtime is two hours for console and an extra half hour or the PC. Why? I have no idea. You can find the patch notes for console below. There are no PC patch notes. Of course, these blogs will always put them in the description below. So we'll just go with this quickly. Event Heart of the Storm. So again, Captains, tomorrow is the start of the Heart of the Storm event. This feature event will be a standalone event separate from the event campaign. This new event will provide participating captains with an epic reward, the Comarque Visionary Ground Set. So get ready for Pink Disco Light Show on ground. Yes. Captains can earn one daily progress per account per day by playing any of the following. Of course, the new episodes, Blue Shift, The Calling, Firewall, Red Shift as well from before, the new TFO, Forge in Fire, which we covered already, Captains. TFOs, Operation Wolf, Uber Radius, Counterpoint. I don't know how many times I have to run Uber Radius, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Because it's a good set, and it's a really good set to have for a free-to-play, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to it. So the rewards. Occurring a total of 20 points of daily progress will allow you to claim the four-piece Kumarki Visionary Ground Set. Bonus rewards, of course, after claiming the grand prize, you will unlock the option of earning additional dilithium ore each day, beginning at 8,000 dilithium ore for the first day's completion. Of course, Captains, you know that we always recommend to do so. I have my new Gem Hadar recruit to help us. In doing so and i'm hoping to get my kdf recruit up to 65 and now this new delta recruit which will automatically be a delta recruit once you do the new revamp federation trial starting tomorrow we'll try so we'll have four captains gathering some in-game resources and then again it, the whole goal of this free-to-play account on the console bridge is to see how we do in a year's time zen by option there's captain for you again i it's up to you. I always recommend just logging in daily, just doing the event if you don't have the time, if you can, but you also do just need 20 points to do so, so you don't have to do the complete event. But if you need to buy it out, the option is there for you. Of course, the blog is here for Heart of Storm, which we already covered. New content there, we already covered that for Blue Ship and the Calling. Great episodes, Captains, really great episodes. Again, we'll link this whole console patch notes here in the video description below. So don't worry about that, Captain. Starfleet experience, as part of the next update to Star Trek Online, the Starfleet ex starting experience has been revamped. Experience updated cutscenes, character models, environments, as well as improving the missions and their story arcs elements. Again, we covered that. Again, Delta Recruit, any newly made 2409 Starfleet character being on Defense Force character or Roman Republic character is eligible to become a recruit for the next 28 days that this event runs. And of course, that starts tomorrow. Delta Recruit's goals have been updated to include brand new missions as well as removing outdated goals that are no longer in the game. We went already covered that, Delta Recruit. And here's some just general notes here. Resolved an issue that would prevent mission progression during the episode Revelations if the drop pods were destroyed before they landed. Never actually, it's been a while since I've ran that, to be honest, Captains. Resolved an issue that was preventing Jim Hadar attack ship and Jim Hadar gunboat hangar pets from unlocking properly. You must own both a Jim Hadar starship and with two hangar bays and a version of the Jim Hadar attack ship of tier 5 or higher. Holographic Jordy LaForge bridge officer may now be commissioned by Romulan and Jim Hadar captains aligned with the Federation. Woohoo! I have one, too. Well, yes, two on the PC bridge. And yes, I do have Jordy. Resolve an issue that was affecting Galaxy class NPC ships where using saucer separate would sometimes change their costume to the pro in the process and or fail to properly reconnect after two minutes had passed. 
That's just a feature. All variants of the Ox Cannon Special Weapon had have had their equipment restrictions expanded to encompass all multi-mission science vessels, all science dreadnoughts, all science spearheads, and all warbirds. So that's pretty cool. That's just another option to sort of make a different type of build on those type of ships using the ox cannons. Resolve the series of issues causing potential server performance impact when using the following abilities. Garumba Power Siphon, the ship any ability, Landry's Tenacity, Discovery Reputation Ground trait, and History Will Remember, Starship trait. Interesting, the Javelin Lance ability to not destroyers now charge more quickly. So these are changes that I, I believe we read, read before for the PC bridge, so now they're coming to the console bridge. Resolved an issue where Noah Everbach Cat's name was misspelled in the credits. Improved performance of various UI elements throughout the game. The Yamato class Dreadnought Cruiser has been remastered. So to those who own that, there you go, Caps. So huge, huge shout out to Thomas Maroney for all his work. Ready for your monitor to visit the Starship customization interface, then apply the Yamato preset to see the changes. The Vesta class multi mission science vessel has been remastered. The model and materials have been rebuilt from the ground up. Much more faithful to the iconic design. To see the updates, ready your Vesta in the customization ship interface and apply the Vesta template. The Vista family of multi-mission science vessel have received legendary Federation Starship materials as well as access to Galaxy and TMP type windows. So there you go, Captains. We thought we would go over that because it's here. Again, we'll link this to the description below. But what I want to do now is this. I want to go in game so we can show you, Caps, the actual legendary Vesta. Now, again, Caps, you know when I first saw this, Super, super excited, even from just this view. That's all we got, that view, kind of that aft view. That aft, that aft. And for some reason, it works for me. I did say, though, it's like they took the Intel Eclipse Cruiser and then the back half of the Vesta and just melded them together, and this is what they got. I did. I do like the deflector. It's kind of different. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but that's fine. But again, we're just going to do show you captains the actual options you can do with your space barb here because it's pretty strong before we do that here is the new vesta model i wasn't necessarily a fan of the vesta model because it just seems so narrow here and then the nacelle is just kind of poked up there now they look like eyes to me now i can't unsee that sorry <laughs> this is not a bad model by any means again it, it's 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 very starfleet very federation but one of my favorite actually is the Raid Maker, just due to, especially when I do my sort of kit bash, like I like the saucer of this, I like the nacelles, everything else we can just change up. Now the Aventine does actually have a better sleek look to it, so I kind of mix match these, but then you'll have access to all these templates. And Captain's here, just a quick little randomize, you can get some really unique <laughs> unique styles only an engineer that engineered the ship could love again it kind of changes the material there but we thought we'd show this off captains because it is there yeah see i like this i like that torpedo pod again how do you make a ship better just slap a torpedo pod on it oh that's not being good at all Again, Captain, it's there for you if you decide to get this. Of course, that, that's not that bad, actually. Hmm. Kind of gives it a very different feel. Hmm. Kind of different. But for now, we'll just leave it on the Kalian model. Again, I've had this. It's a great ship. I enjoy it. I'm still not done doing whatever I want to do with it. And in terms of bills and just flying it around for my nightly pew pew shenanigans. But there you go. We'll go out there, Captains. The last thing we'll do here is show off where you get these items once you get the Legendary Bundle, which all you got to do is go under Items, scroll down. There it is, the Level 65 Federation 2409 Captain Pack. And there it is. Everything that we've read is available there, and it's actually showing you. Again, open this, Captains, on the Captain you want to use them on. Unfortunately, this is not account on... Lock. I wish that they would. There's a big push 
from a lot of captains, of course, voicing that it does add value to me if you just make it account unlock. I don't see the reason why you wouldn't make it account unlock, and it's just to me a missed opportunity just to kind of give us a little you know just throw the captains a bone you know to to have this account unlock but there you go captains this bad boy of a ship is coming to the console bridge go back here leave it on this this view here on the console bridge tomorrow after maintenance the captains what we're gonna do actually tonight is we're gonna go do a video segment of the old Federation tutorial just to keep a log of it for the YouTube bridge here so that we can kind of keep it, but also sort of do the comparison. And it's been a while since I've done it, so why not? I'm just going to create a character on con on console there and just go do the playthrough just to experience it again. But I will highly recommend to do the new revamp. It's great. Huge shout out to Tumor Boy for the amount of work he's done. And you will see it there, Captains, especially when you get to the bridges. And when you do the featured episode, the new episodes, I think they're really good. So it's worth doing. And of course, again, the event starts with the Camarque Visionary set. There you go, Captains. A lot of things to cover there. But we thought we would, of course, always drop our two EC. So again, from myself, highly recommended to get this Legendary Vesta if you can. Is it needed? No. Did I want it though? Yes. And I am not disappointed. But with that said, captains, we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.